My name is Diana Trujillo, and this is why I fly. I work with the astronauts who are in space. So that is probably the way that I get as close as I can to flying. I've been working in space for 15 years. I've been working on space exploration and planetary exploration, specifically on Mars with three different vehicles. Sky Team Maneuver has started. And now I have the honor and the pleasure to be working with the space station here at NASA Johnson Space Center. My job right now is actually to be a flight director. The flight director is an individual that needs to work with the international partners, the flight control team, experts, uh, researchers, and people around the world to make sure that we make the correct decisions and difficult decisions where we keep the astronauts safe in space. We have to understand what the flight controllers are doing and what type of decisions I need to be making as the leader of the team, but I also need to understand what the astronauts are going to be doing. What's your current configuration? When we get to do training, where we go to a mock-up and take a look at the space station, where things are located, and then start assimilating how would a human be behaving on the space station in this case, what if I was on the space station? What would I be doing? What would the astronauts be doing so that I understand what type of decisions I need to make as a flight director here on Earth? One of the things that I really like about my job is the fact that as a Hispanic woman, I get to use a lot of my heritage every day. I remember instances with my, with my abuela or with my mama that we would talk about how to fix things in the house because we couldn't buy them again. And when I think about those moments, we were quite resourceful. We were actually thinking about how to make things work with what you had instead of, instead of going to the store and buying something else. When I look at the space exploration that I do now, it's all related with the exact same concept. Make it work with what you have. Think about a way that it is not very obvious, but at the same time, use what you have because there's no way you're gonna fly a new one or you're gonna get somebody else to go to Mars and repair it. I was born and raised in Colombia, and I didn't really know anybody that was an aerospace engineer. I didn't have any family members that were engineers either or scientists. So when I talked to my family about wanting to do space exploration or aerospace engineering, uh, that sounded pretty crazy to them. The idea in my mind was that I was gonna to come to a new country where I was gonna to get to learn not only the culture and the way of living, but also to have the ability to maybe have a very small shot at applying at NASA. The only issue was that when I arrived here, I only had $300 in my pocket and I didn't know any English. I didn't let that stop me because I also had a lot of other people that wanted to invest in me and see me be part of the team. The number one advice will be never give up. Don't think about the fact that you cannot do it. Focus on the fact that your heart is telling you where you wanna go. Now apply yourself to your education, ensure that you get the right classes, and then just go after it because honestly, there's so much to do in space exploration that if you take a step back, it will be a bad thing for all of us. So do not take a step back, take a step forward and come and help us out.